welcome to Reptilian Diaries. This episode we're going to the UAE. Yeah, that's the land of skyscrapers and rich princes driving around with cheetahs in their Lamborghinis, but we're not interested. We're going for the reptiles, we're going to hit the dunes, let's do it. So we're going to go look for Euromastics, Egyptia, Leptini, big guys, and um, hopefully we find them. It's hot and it's windy, but we're going to look, we're going to find them. big lizards, the Euromastix, the Egyptia leptini. We found these guys in kind of a strange area. They were near a camel racing track. They were living in this kind of weird park-like setting. There was irrigation and like a pond and everything, but they had dug their burrows kind of down underneath these rocks. It looks like people have started to feed them, which is a little bit strange. We got to see them. There was a healthy population of them. You could see the males with their big old black heads. The females were more yellow and they were displaying to each other and cruising around. They're pretty wary, so the second you pull your car up, they dip, so it's a little bit hard to get footage, but we got enough, and uh, I was happy to see them. What's up, guys? So we're looking for Skinkus mitranus right now, and they're pretty tough because they just dive into the sand and literally disappear. No mercy for you. No worries for you. That Game of Thrones. Go Cersei on you, I flip the script, I roll the dice, don't fall asleep, cause I'm working nights, hey, you trying to shut me out, it's getting blatant, hey, I come and see you, now no hesitation, yeah. I'm really, really tired of being patient, hey, if you won't give it to me, I'ma take it. I've always wanted to see Skinkus in the wild, ever since I was a kid, and finally I got to do it. And they're such a trippy lizard. I mean, they're so perfectly designed to live on these slip faces of these dunes. And as you guys saw, they just sit there with their head out, just their head out. And the second you come up, just boom, they just explosion of sand, a big old chunk of the dune comes down and they're gone. And you can't get them. You can go and dig, 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 you will not find them. So I set up a GoPro on a tripod and just sat and waited until finally I think he stuck his little head back out. And then instead of diving back into the dune, this time he dove out and ran and that's how we were able to catch him. Really neat lizards, really well adapted to their habitat and just cool to see him making a living like that. So that is Stenodactylus slevini. That's a female. Super nice gecko.
Ferratus kinkus kaiser lingi, Cerastes, Stenodactylus arabicus, Stenodactylus doriae, Panopus tuberculatus, pretty dope. The geckos are a big part of the UAE's herptofauna. Just in the dunes alone where we were looking, we were finding seven species of terrestrial geckos, all living sympatrically. That's almost unheard of anywhere else. Teratoskinkus, a handful of Stenodactylus, and Bonopus, and Pseudoceramodactylus, all in one small spot? Yes, please. So here we have Cerastes Gasparetti. This is a young one. And as you can see, he's doing the caudal luring. Well, he's not actually doing it right now, but his tail is out. And that's how they sit, waiting. And they'll wiggle that tail back and forth. Oh, this went inside the bullhouse. And a gecko will come. So much cerastus here. Eh? So Cerastes gasparetti is probably the most common venomous snake in the UAE, and they strictly live in the dunes. They're similar to our sidewinders. They do do the sidewinding in kind of backwards motion, as you saw in the film, but some of them have massive horns above their eyes, and some of them don't. The, uh, the animals that we found did not have any horns. I have found them with horns. I was hoping we'd find them with horns, but we didn't. The reason for the horns is kind of up for debate. Some people say it keeps the sand out of their eyes somehow. Some people say it kind of breaks up the, uh, the look of their head for more camouflage. Some people say it's for display in, you know, when they see other males, who's got the biggest horns, who knows. Uh, Eryx jayakari, totally harmless snake. It's a constrictor. They're mostly eating probably the geckos out there and also there's gerbils and gerboas and different kinds of rodents out there that they, uh, that they eat. Totally cool snakes, calm, harmless, really gentle. They just hide and they just want to go back underneath the sand. They were really the only two snakes besides maybe like Pseudocerastes or something like that that I wanted to see in the UAE. But for that, it'll be another trip into the mountains. So that does it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. Stick around. We've got more reptile adventures coming and I will see you next time.